So this is the illuminated, the illuminated mural. Yeah, this is it. So how long did it take you to, to finish the whole thing again? Well, I mean, almost over like a year's time to really make it all happen, you know. Huh. How much paint did this take again? It was over a hundred gallons of latex. It was monumental. We dropped paint from the roof. Gravity pulls the paint down. It's like a way to paint, I guess. Yeah, gravity paint. How, how did the, you do the blue with uh, rollers or spray? Spray. Spray. Yeah, the, the blue was sprayed on. We power washed a little bit too, like where there, you know, and we did masonry work on it. Once the blue was up there and set as the base, yeah. that's when I really started to flood with color. That's huge. I still can't get over how tall it is. I know you said it was 100 by 100. 50 feet. With this, it's you normally you step back from your painting, you know, and you're like, oh, this is like going down the street. How 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 much do your color palettes vary? Because when I look at this on my mini, some bright colors looks like reminds me of uh, you know neon and sherbet, like popsicles, really bright. The blue and the yeah. pinks, you know, it looks sort of edible, right? To me, it does anyways. Yeah. Reminds me of like candies. Yeah, people are always cream. like talking about it being like some fallen rainbow or like some sort of dripping like uh what do they call it like the crying building or like somebody said it was vomit my palette is is kind of from like the 90s like okay. just that like every color goes maybe that's why people like it so much this is giant bright spectrum and it's surrounded by you know just not bright colors. There's not very many other bright colors within the vicinity. I wasn't thinking like rainbow at all. I, I was thinking kind of uh, like empowerment, uplifting people. Color is a powerful mm -hmm. thing. So you got your warm and your cool, but it's it's very active and it's high energy. That's yeah, hyper. Yeah, super yes. hyper. Yes, yeah, yes. That's hyper, I mean. hyper yeah. colors. People started dropping drips all around the city after the painting was done. That's what I think is really cool about this painting too. It's like created this movement of artists. What was the reaction when you completed the piece? What, what did people say? Oh my gosh, I got such a positive reaction. People loved it. We'd get tons of photographers stopping all the time to take photos. I've seen people get married in front of the piece. They do their engagement pictures. They have like their whole wedding party and everything. Photographers like having models, people on trampolines, girls flying. Tour buses were showing up. People use it for their own personal things too. Like I've seen people eat lunch. Maybe they take like their Facebook picture or whatever they take. The best thing that happened though, uh, was I ended up going to uh, the Considine Center. That's where I worked with a lot of the kids. I go and I walk up and there's like 30 to 40 kids outside and they just all start clapping for me. And they're like, oh, Katie, thank you for painting this beautiful painting for us. Come sit down here.